Hello Peachies, welcome back to Dear Peachy. They say that eyes are the windows to the soul, so why not adorn these windows with colors and create stunning eye makeup looks? If you're new to makeup, applying eyeshadow might feel overwhelming. Which shade to apply first? Or should you apply the shades on your eyelid? Why does your eye makeup look messy? The confusion continues. Eyeshadows have the power to transform your makeup game, but it's crucial to know the correct application techniques to lift and define your eyes. Mastering the art of eyeshadow involves a few key steps, applying eyeshadow according to the shape of your eyes, adding the right shade to the right place to add dimension to the entire look, and blending everything seamlessly. Once you've mastered the basics of eyeshadow application, you can explore and adapt various techniques to shape your eyes according to your desired style. There are countless methods and styles to experiment with, allowing you to create unique and personalized eye makeup looks. So let's tackle those questions that keep popping up from your mind. And let's get to know more about how different eyeshadow placement can do wonders in enhancing your eye shape. In this video, we've got you covered from the functions of different eyeshadow shades and brushes to the proper placements and application techniques. We'll even address the common mistakes that beginners often make. Keep on watching to amp up your eyeshadow game from novice to pro. The video is divided into several parts, please refer to the following sections according to their timestamps. Do many beginners believe that a good look can only be achieved with vibrant and colorful eyeshadows, similar to the one shown here? Actually, if you take a closer look at well-executed eye makeup, you'll realize that the structure of the eyeshadow is far more important than the choice or the intensity of the colors. Hence, eyeshadow is not simply about stacking different shades together. A truly stunning eye makeup look not only makes your eyes more captivating but also enhances their shape according to your unique eye shape. Therefore, it's essential to consider your eye shape when applying eye makeup, rather than just focusing on layering colors. When creating your everyday eye look, remember to prioritize subtle colors and a well-defined structure. If we were to illustrate the purpose of applying eye makeup as a pyramid, we would see that the foundation, the base level, represents the most important objective. That objective is to enhance and emphasize the expression of our eyes. The primary purpose of eye makeup is to make our eyes look more alert, vibrant, and captivating. By enhancing our eyes, we can also improve our overall complexion and create a more polished and put-together appearance. Once you have mastered the basic skills to create a simple eye look that enhances your eyes, it's time to take your game to the next level. Now, you can start considering adapting your current skill set to better complement your eye shape. You will start to explore different application techniques that allow you to play with various styles and shapes for your eyes. For example, you can experiment with techniques that make your eyes appear longer, rounder, or even more lifted. By diversifying your techniques and styles, you can truly enhance your eye features and create stunning looks that suit your unique eye shape and personal preferences. Lastly, at the top level of the pyramid, we reach the ultimate goal for makeup pros. Having learned all the techniques to enhance and even transform your eye shape, you now have the ability to build your own unique style and preferences. This is where you can truly shine and create your signature makeup look. By looking at this pyramid, have you been able to determine at which level you currently stand? Comment down below to let us know. When it comes to eyeshadow, it's not limited to just powder formulas. There are also cream and liquid formulas available. Each of these formulas has its own unique features and suitability for different purposes. One of the great things about powder formula is the wide variety of colors and finishes available, allowing you to create diverse makeup looks. You can also layer the powder to create more dimensions and depth. Another advantage is that it's easy to control and pick up the product on your brush or applicator. However, be cautious not to use too much product, as it can lead to fallout and excess powder on your lid. The good side is that powder eyeshadows are suitable for everyone, whether you're a beginner or an experienced makeup enthusiast. One of the standout features of cream eyeshadows is their soft and smooth texture, which makes them incredibly easy to blend. They offer excellent color payoff without any fallout, giving you intense and vibrant eye looks. However, it's worth mentioning that cream eyeshadows can be a bit trickier for beginners. They require a certain level of skill and technique during application to achieve the best results. 
Cream eyeshadows are particularly well suited for those who have mastered specific application techniques. One of the standout features of liquid eyeshadow is their ability to provide a glossy and hydrated finish, adding a touch of luminosity to your eyes. The texture is incredibly delicate and lightweight, making it a breeze to apply. Not only that, but liquid eyeshadows also offer impressive longevity, ensuring your eye makeup stays put for hours. However, they tend to dry quickly, which can make blending a bit challenging and may result in uneven application. Liquid eyeshadows are best suited for those who have mastered eye makeup techniques and consider themselves experienced. If you're an eye makeup enthusiast who loves to experiment and has a knack for precision, liquid eyeshadows can be a fantastic addition to your beauty arsenal. Eyeshadow colors can be simplified into four main types, base color, transition color, deepening color, and highlighter. A standard four-color eyeshadow palette is often recommended for beginners as it offers a well-balanced selection of shades. These palettes typically include the four types of shade mentioned just now. This pre-selected color combination makes it easier and quicker for beginners to apply their eyeshadow and achieve a cohesive eye makeup look. First up, we have the base color. This is the lightest shade in your palette, usually matching your skin tone or a soft neutral shade like peach or beige. It serves as the foundation for your eyeshadow look, creating a smooth and even canvas on your eyelids. Moving on to the transition color. This shade is slightly deeper than the base color and acts as the main color for your eyeshadow look. Applied to the crease area, it adds depth and dimension, giving your eyes a captivating effect. The deepening color. This is a darker shade than the transition color, meant to create a gradient effect from light to dark. Applying this color to the outer corner and crease of your eyes adds definition and brings depth to your overall eye makeup. Last but not least, we have the highlighter. This shade is typically shimmery, with noticeable shimmer particles. It's perfect for accentuating specific areas of your eyes, such as the inner corners or brow bone, creating a luminous and eye-catching effect. By understanding these color classifications, you can strategically choose and apply eyeshadows to enhance your eyes and achieve your desired makeup style. If you're a makeup beginner, eyeshadow palette with no more than four colors will be recommended as your top choice. This is because buying too many shades can lead to waste if you're unsure how to pair them or feel intimidated by using certain unique colors. One thing we've noticed is that multi-color eyeshadow palettes often end up gathering dust on our makeup shelves. It's such a shame because there are so many beautiful shades in there that we never get to use. So, here's a tip when it comes to choosing eyeshadow colors, try to stick to the same color family. It makes things so much easier. For example, you can go for a combination of deeper and lighter shades within the earthy tones. Think browns, tops, and beiges. They blend together effortlessly and create a natural and versatile look. Another option is to go for colors that are similar and complement each other. How about playing around with different shades of brown or reddish browns? They can add depth and warmth to your eye makeup. Earthy tone eyeshadows are the best friends of newbies in the makeup world. It is super versatile and easy to work with. They work great on any skin type and do not make your eyes look puffy. It's perfect for those everyday looks when you want to keep it fresh and subtle. However, single-color eyeshadows are not recommended either. Why? Well, it's because when you're still getting familiar with color combinations, it's easy to make some questionable choices and end up with an incohesive look. Plus, if you buy a bunch of single eyeshadows without knowing how to pair them up, they might just end up sitting in a drawer, collecting dust. So, advice for beginners is to start with eyeshadow palettes that offer a variety of complementary shades. This way, you'll have a range of colors that are specifically curated to work together. It takes the guesswork out of the equation and makes it much easier to create stunning eye looks. Eyeshadow is all about serving our eyes and making them look their absolute best. And to achieve that, it's important to have a good understanding of the structure of our eyes. That way, we can apply an eyeshadow in all the right places to maximize the beauty of our eyes. When it comes to the structure of our eyes, there are two aspects to consider, the vertical structure and the horizontal structure. Let's start with the vertical structure. This refers to the different areas of our eyes from top to bottom, such as the brow bone, eyelid, crease, lash line, and under eye area. 
These areas have their own significance when it comes to widening your eyes. Now, let's move on to the horizontal structure. This refers to the left and right sides of our eyes, which includes the inner lid, middle of the lid, and outer lid. If you wish to elongate your eyes, here are the areas that you need to work on. If you're still unsure where these areas are located, the easiest way to locate the crease area is to directly get hands on with it. You can start by using your fingertips to feel the position of your eyeball beneath your eyelid. Gently press your fingers and locate the slight indentation between your eyeball and your brow bone. By doing this, you'll be able to identify the area where the eyeshadow should be applied. When it comes to applying eyeshadow, there are different techniques you can try to achieve various eye makeup looks. In this section, let's explore the fundamental theory behind eyeshadow application and discover how different placements of shades can enhance the overall appearance of your eyes. In the world of eye makeup, makeup artists often employ two main approaches based on the structure of the eyes, the upper-lower structure and the left-right structure techniques. The upper-lower structure technique, also known as the vertical application method, this method is all about creating a gradient effect on your eyelid, where the eyeshadow colors transition from dark to light, helping the eyes to appear wider, enhancing the depth and allure of your eyes. If you're a makeup newbie, the monochromatic gradient technique is your best friend. It's super easy to pull off and gives beautiful results. Here's how to do it. Grab a flat eyeshadow brush and dip it into a light colored eyeshadow of your choice. Start applying the eyeshadow at the roots of your lashes and gently blend it upward. The key is to create a smooth transition where the color is more intense near the lash line and gradually fades towards the outer edges. There is another technique within the upper-lower structure method called the dual color gradient technique. This technique involves using two eyeshadow colors to create a more pronounced transition and can also help reduce any puffiness or swelling around the eyes. When adding layers of eyeshadow to create depth, it's best to use a smaller eyeshadow brush. Start by applying the first shade at the roots of your lashes and blend it upward. This forms the base layer of your eyeshadow. Next, choose a second eyeshadow color that complements the first one. Apply it at the lash line to ensure a seamless transition between the two shades. Use gentle blending motions to create a natural gradient effect. The three color gradient technique is a wonderful way to create a more pronounced layering effect and add richness to your eye makeup. With this method, you can achieve a captivating blend of colors that enhances your eyes. Choose three eyeshadow shades that complement each other and vary in intensity. Apply the shades from the lightest, medium, and darkest order using the same method mentioned just now to add depth to your eyes. On the other hand, the left-right structure, also known as the horizontal application method, offers a variety of possibilities when it comes to eyeshadow placement. By arranging colors from left to right in different intensities, you can create unique eye makeup looks with varying effects. One of the techniques included in the horizontal application method is the backward shift technique. It is called backward shift, as this technique shifts the focus of the eye makeup towards the back of the eyes, which is at the outer corner of the eye. Its main purpose is to elongate the eye shape and create the illusion of more distance between the eyes, making it particularly suitable for individuals with closer set eyes. To apply this technique, you can use three eyeshadow shades with varying tones. Apply the lightest, then medium and followed by darkest the last. Blend it along the outer corner of your eye, following the natural curve when your eyes are closed. Gradually lighten the color as you blend it towards the outer edge. By extending the darkest eyeshadow beyond the outer corner, you can create a subtle elongation effect that enhances the shape of your eyes. With this technique, you can create a makeup look with lightest, medium to darkest intensity from the inner corner, middle of lid and outer corner. The forward shift technique does the opposite, it focuses on the inner corner of the eye and helps create a three-dimensional effect, giving the appearance of a higher and more defined nose bridge. It is particularly suitable for individuals with wider set eyes, as it visually narrows the space between the eyes. It's important to note that using colors that are not too dark is key to achieving a harmonious look. To apply this technique, Place the emphasis of your eyeshadow on the inner corner of your eye. Start from the inner corner and blend the eyeshadow towards the bridge of your nose, eye socket, and outer corner of the eye. Use eyeshadows of varying depths to create a sense of dimension and layering.
Next, the segmental blending technique focuses on creating depth and dimension in the eye makeup by using darker eyeshadow shades in the front and back segments and a lighter shade in the middle segment. The middle of the lid is often highlighted with a shimmery shade. The goal is to enhance the three-dimensional appearance of the eyes. This technique is well suited for individuals with double eyelids or hooded eyes. However, it may not be the best choice for those with puffy or swollen eyelids, as it can accentuate the puffiness. Makeup is a form of self-expression, and there is no one-size-fits-all approach. It's essential to break away from the traditional methods and start understanding the purpose behind each step and placement of shades. Gone are the days of blindly following others without questioning why certain shades are placed where they are. Every dab of eyeshadow, every brush stroke should serve a purpose, and you should be aware of the objectives you want to achieve with your makeup look. Once you grasp the concept of how shades with different depths can impact your overall look when applied to different areas of your eyes, you'll gain a better understanding of the purpose behind each shade and the rationale behind their specific placements in various eyeshadow techniques. Now that we have a solid understanding of the theories behind eyeshadow application, let's dive into the most basic and beginner-friendly 4-step eyeshadow technique. This technique is easy and quick, making it perfect for beginners who are just starting to explore the world of makeup. We will start with the lightest shade, or the base color. When applying the base color, focus on the area within your eye socket. Take a moment to use your fingertips and feel where the eyeshadow should go. You can extend the color slightly beyond the natural crease of your eyelid. Just remember, don't bring the eyeshadow up to your brow bone. We don't want to mess with the natural arch of your eyebrows or diminish the depth of your eyes. Now, let's move on to the lower eyelid. The eyeshadow should be applied within the range of your under eye fat. Fill in the eyeshadow from the outer corner to the front. The shades at the outer corner gradually transition to lighter shades towards the inner corners. This helps to balance and coordinate the overall look of your eyes. Next, the transition color, also known as the main color. For the upper eyelid, you'll want to apply the transition shade just a little above the crease line. If you have double eyelids, it should be placed right above the fold. And if you have monolids, apply it within about half the width of the first layer of eyeshadow, so that you can see it when your eyes are open. As for the lower eyelid, the transition shade should also be applied within about half the width of the first layer of eyeshadow. When blending the color, start from the outer corner of your eye and blend it towards the center, stopping just below the pupil. Then, we go to the deepening shade. For the upper eyelid, you want to focus on the outer corner, right along the lash line. Blend it gently to create a subtle shadow that enhances the shape of your eyes and adds a touch of allure. When it comes to the lower eyelid, you can apply the deepening shade close to the lash line or a little lower, about 2-3 mm. This technique creates a natural looking shadow that adds definition to your eyes. However, it's important to consider your eye shape and personal preference. If you have downturned eye shape, you may want to skip the lower contouring to maintain a more lifted appearance. Remember, makeup is all about experimenting and finding what works best for you. Now it's time to add that extra touch of sparkle and radiance with the highlighter. For the upper eyelid, we want to focus on the center area, right where your eye pops when it's closed. That's the spot to apply the shimmery shade. For the lower eyelid, highlight the inner corner region. Additionally, you can lightly highlight the area near the under eye fat or egg all sol beneath your eyes. Focus on the inner two-thirds of this area for a natural looking effect. Once you have mastered the basic eyeshadow application technique, it's time to elevate your skills to the next level. While the universal beginner's formula is a great starting point, it's important to remember that everyone has unique eye shapes. By adjusting the placement and range of your eyeshadow and eyeliner, you can truly enhance your natural features. Understanding your own eye shape is key to creating personalized and flattering looks. Whether you have hooded, deep set or downturned eyes, adapting the makeup techniques to suit your specific features will make all the difference. Upturned eyes have a unique charm, giving off a sharp, cool, and sometimes mysterious vibe. When it comes to makeup, there are a few tricks to balance out the upturned shape and enhance your eye's beauty. To create a more balanced look, focus on intensifying the eyeshadow at the upper inner corner and the lower outer corner. In other words, it uses the forward shift technique on the upper lid, 
starting with a darker shade at the inner corner and gradually transitioning to a lighter shade towards the outer corner of the eyes. This helps lift the eye and counteract the upward effect. When applying eyeliner, avoid flicking it upward, as it can accentuate the upward shape even more. Instead, follow the natural curve of your eyelid and extend the liner downward for a lengthening effect. Keep the lines thin at the outer corner and gradually thicken them towards the inner corner. This technique creates a pleasing visual flow. Adding a touch of lower eyeliner can also help balance the upward appearance. Filling in the under eye fat contour is indeed a technique that can help balance and neutralize the sharpness of upturned eye shapes. When shaping your eyebrows, aim for a gentle arch and let the tail of the brow extend naturally. Just be careful not to start your eyebrows too low, as it can emphasize the upturned look or too high, as it may appear unnatural. When it comes to downturned eyes, where the inner corner is higher than the outer corner, it often gives off a gentle, innocent, or melancholic impression. To enhance this eye shape, we can focus on lifting the outer corner of the upper lid to balance out the drooping effect. Before we begin applying eyeshadow for downturned eyes, there's a crucial step that shouldn't be overlooked. It involves concealing the groove or indentation at the outer corner, which tends to be more pronounced in this eye shape. This groove can have a darker pigmentation, creating the illusion of downward pointing eyes and making them appear droopy. To address this, we can use a flat brush and apply a small amount of concealer to the groove. This helps reduce the pigmentation and instantly gives a slight lift to your eyes. On the other hand, the backward shift technique will be used in applying eyeshadow to downturned eyes. When it comes to the outer corner of the eyes, we need to pay attention to the placement of the darkest eyeshadow shade. It's crucial not to overextend the region because that can actually work against our goal of lifting the eyes. Here's a helpful tip, apply the darker eyeshadow only between the highest point of your eyes and the end point of your eyeliner. This specific area is where you want to focus your blending efforts to achieve the best lifting effect for the outer corner. By keeping the application within this defined region, you ensure that the eyeshadow works harmoniously with your eye shape and enhances the lifted appearance. To further balance the appearance of downturned eyes, we can add a darker brown shade to the bottom region of the inner corner. This technique helps to pull the position of the inner corner slightly lower, creating a more balanced and less downturned look between the inner and outer corners of the eyes. For the inner corner, tight lining along the lash line can help pull it lower and create the desired effect. By applying the eyeliner closely to the roots of the lashes, you accentuate the shape of the inner corner while maintaining a natural and seamless look. Moving to the upper lash line, you can add a bit more thickness to the eyeliner. As you reach the point where four-fifths of the lash line lies, you can slightly lift the tail to create a subtle wing. This winged effect adds a gentle lift to the outer corner, enhancing the overall appearance of your eyes. Note that the eyeliner in the outer corner should be drawn higher or the same level as the inner corner eyeliner. This step can further enhance the lifting effect and reserve the balance of the eye shape. Go for natural straight brows to complement your eye shape. Overly arched or droopy brows can highlight the contrast or further emphasize downturned eyes instead. Hooded eyes are characterized by an additional layer of skin that hangs down over the eyelid, known as the hood. This extra skin obscures the natural crease and can make it challenging to showcase eye makeup when the eyes are open. If you can't see your crease or eyelid when your eyes are open, it is likely that you have hooded eyes. When it comes to accentuating hooded lids, it is important to look beyond the eyes. The entire eye area and its structure should be considered. If you look closely, you can see that the brow bone, nose bridge, lash line, and eyeliner regions are the highest, most forward projecting areas. To reduce the impression of puffy lids and create a more balanced eye look, applying eyeshadow in a larger region is indeed a good strategy. Using shades like brown with grayish undertones can provide a subtle and natural-looking shadow effect on your lids. It helps to reduce the puffiness of the bulging areas and emphasize the forward projection of these highest points. By doing this, you can create a visual contrast that helps to minimize the appearance of hoodedness. Here's how you can apply the eyeshadow. Start by layering the eyeshadow at the most protruding region of your lid, which is typically the center or inner lid. This will help to reduce the puffiness and create a more even appearance. Blend the eyeshadow outwards, covering the entire upper lid. Extend the shade in a bigger area, reaching towards the inner corner of the eye, 
creating a more deep set effect. Using a darker shade, focus on the midpoint area between your brows and lash line. Layer the eyeshadow in this region to create a deeper shadow and add definition. This will contribute to the illusion of a more deep set and structured eye shape. With a smaller brush, apply the same shade to the area just above your natural crease. By deepening the shadow in this area, you can create a more prominent fold at your crease, enhancing the depth and dimension of your eyes. Other than that, adding contour to the egg yolk sol, or under eye fat, helps enhance your eye shape too. With this step, you can create a visual contrast between the upper and lower eye areas. This technique can help to draw attention away from the bulginess of the upper eyelid and bring more focus to the under eye area. Adding a shimmery shade to the inner region of your under eye area and within the crease can further enhance the appearance of your eye shape and draw attention to those areas. Avoid extending the shimmer shade above your crease. The shimmers will attract more light to it and cause it to look puffier. Besides that, Adding matte highlighter to the brow bone and nose root can further enhance the illusion of deeper set eyes and add a touch of brightness to those areas. For your eyeliner, tight line along the inner corner of your upper lash line. This means applying eyeliner to the space between your lashes, closest to the roots. Extend a subtle fine eyeliner at the outer corner of your eyes, slightly winging it upward. This elongates the shape of your eyes and complements the natural curve of your eye shape. Last step. Get a slightly darker shade and apply it precisely to the inner corner using a fine flat brush. Brush it across the lid area at the inner corner by following its shape, blend it towards the middle of the hood to give the eyes a better contour. Next, the deep set eyes. Deep set eyes have a unique feature where they are set deeper into the skull, making the brow bone more prominent. However, this positioning can sometimes overshadow the eyes and lids. It can be a bit challenging to apply eye makeup for deep set eyes if you're not familiar with the right techniques. And here is how to apply eye makeup that will flatter deep set eyes. Before diving into any vibrant and long lasting eyeshadow looks, it's crucial to start with a good base. Applying eye primer or a bit of concealer to the lid can help to even out the pigmentation around your eyes that can make them look more sunken. When it comes to eyeshadow tutorials, it's common to see dark shades like deep brown or smoky gray color applied in the crease to add dimension and contour to the eyes. However, for those of us with deep set eyes, we already have a natural depth and dimension that others try to create. Adding a dark shade to our already dark crease can actually make our eyes appear even more sunken and exaggerated. So, it's important not to overplay our hand when it comes to eyeshadow application. The objective of applying eyeshadow here is to balance out your features by pulling the eyes forward, while pushing the brow bone to the back. Start with a base shade, precisely blend it all over your upper lid area. Bring the shadow to the outer corner of your eye and lift the shade slightly upwards in a flick motion. This technique helps to contour and soften the appearance of the brow bone, reducing the prominence in order to make your eyes look less sunken. Don't forget the lower lid to make the entire look more cohesive and balanced. Choose a transition color that is slightly darker than your skin tone but still within the neutral range. With a fluffy blending brush, gently blend within the crease and extend it towards the brow bone. Use circular motions and back and forth blending to ensure a smooth and diffuse transition. Finally, the deepening shade is added with a light hand at the crease along the lash line. Blend everything seamlessly using a fluffy blending brush before moving to the next step. Next, add shades that can bring your eyes forward. Shimmery shades are your best friend. The reflection of light caused by shimmer particles in your eyeshadow will bring forward your eye. Apply it within the crease to make your eyes pop. Another smart trick is that matte highlighter can be used strategically to minimize the appearance of shadows around your eyes. By applying matte highlighter to the deepest part of your eye socket or the area that appears more recessed, you can create the illusion of a lifted and more defined eye shape. When it comes to eyeliner for deep set eyes, a subtle approach can work wonders in enhancing your eye shape without overpowering it. Instead of going for a dramatic upward winged liner, opt for a more subtle and elongated eyeliner look. Start by lining your upper lash line, keeping the line thin and close to the lashes. As you reach the outer corner of your eyes, you can slightly extend the liner to create a gentle flick or a subtle elongation. This can help create the illusion of longer eyes and add a touch of elegance to your overall look. 
Emphasizing the lashes can help draw attention to the eyes and create a more pronounced and lifted appearance. Apply generous coats of mascara to both the upper and lower lashes. The mascara will add length, volume, and definition to your lashes, making them appear more intense and prominent. Protruding eyes, or prominent eyes, are actually quite common and can be incredibly captivating. In fact, celebrities such as Amanda Seyfried, Sarah Hyland, Tyra Banks and Jin Yan Wu are celebrated for their gorgeous and alluring doe-eyed looks. When it comes to eye makeup for protruding eyes, the objective is to create the illusion of a more deep-set appearance, minimizing the prominence of the bulging effect. For all you colored lens lovers out there, choosing the right size is crucial, to avoid emphasizing the protrusion of your eyes, go for contacts with a graphic diameter of around 14mm or above. But don't just take our word for it, try them on and judge for yourself in the mirror. Too small or too big lenses might not do your eyes justice, so finding the perfect fit is key. You might have noticed that in Caucasians or Westerners, the most protruding region of their eyes is often the brow bone. But, if you're of Asian descent, our bone structure might be a bit less prominent, hence making our eyes appear more forward projecting. The highest point or the most protruding region in prominent eyes is usually right at the midpoint of the eyeball. As we age, the protruding effect becomes even more pronounced due to the loss of skin firmness. This can create a more defined groove or crease, making our eyes look even more protruding. If you have watched our previous videos, you've probably heard about the latest parallelogram eyeshadow technique that's been buzzing in the Chinese beauty community. While it looks amazing on some eye shapes, it might not be the best choice for protruding eyes. It's because it emphasizes deep shadows in the inner and outer end of the lid, drawing attention to the protrudeness of your eyes. To draw attention away from the highest point of our eye structure and reduce the appearance of protrusion, we can use a shade that closely matches our skin tone. Apply it evenly over the lid to even it out as the base color of your lid. Next, get a shade which is slightly darker. Apply this shade to the middle region of your eyes, which is the highest point and naturally receives more light and reflects a glow. By doing so, we can tone down the brightness of this area and make it less eye-catching. Blend the eyeshadow out using gentle left and right motions, and extend it up to above crease to create a seamless transition. This technique helps to create a more balanced look and reduces the impression of protruding eyes. Same applies to the lower lid. The darkest transition of color should be applied right below the iris and blended towards the outer corner. For those of us with more prominent eyes, you may notice a groove between your brow bone and above your crease. This groove reveals the contour of our eyeballs. To minimize the impression of this groove, apply some matte highlighter in this area. This will help to make it look less dented and reduce the overall bulging effect of your eyes. Just look at the comparison, you will be surprised how a simple trick can do wonders to how you look. To add more dimension and to puff your eyes, you can take your eyeshadow game a step further. Apply a small amount of contour powder just below your brows, creating a small rectangle shape from your brows to your lid. This technique helps to create a shadow effect that reduces the puffiness of your eyes and adds depth to your overall eye look. Next, always remember to tightline your eyes. It's common to see that the base of the inner lash line is more visible in prominent eyes. Tight lining can make your eyes look more alert and captivating. In addition, to make your eyes appear less prominent, fill in your tight liner slightly above your lash line, focusing on narrowing the width of your crease. Use a detail brush to blend out the liner for a seamless finish. When it comes to the color intensity of the liner, remember that the middle of your lid should have the lightest shade, while the inner and outer corners should be the darkest. This contrasting color helps to create depth and dimension, drawing attention away from the protruding appearance of your eyes. Using a gel liner is a great choice as it provides a softer and more natural look compared to liquid or pencil liners. Opt for lashes with a strong curl that extends beyond the level of your crease fold. This will help create the illusion of deeper set eyes and draw attention to the lashes, giving a more balanced and defined look to your overall eye makeup. If you want to go for a dramatic look, go for sparkly glittery shades instead of metallic shades. When applying them, focus on the area just above your crease, where the groove is prominent. Using your fingers, gently dab and blend the shimmer onto that area.
Lastly, we have come to the monolid eyes. Monolid eyes can present a unique challenge when it comes to eye makeup. The absence of a distinct crease and limited eyelid space can sometimes make it difficult to explore different looks and unleash your creativity. While double lid stickers can provide a quick fix, mastering the basic eyeshadow application technique will truly unlock the beauty of monolid eyes. Before we move on to the application steps, it's crucial to understand that blending the eyeshadow for monolids requires precision and attention to detail. Avoid blending the eyeshadow too widely, as it can create a messy and unfinished appearance. Instead, focus on extending the length of your eyes horizontally rather than vertically. The key is to achieve a subtle look where the edge of your eyeshadow is visible when your eyes are open. This horizontal blending technique helps create the illusion of elongated eyes and enhances the overall effect of your eye makeup. To start, choose a lighter shade that will serve as the base color for your lid. Using a fluffy blending brush, begin applying the shadow from the groove between your nose bridge and eyes, blending it out towards the outer end of your lid. This will create a soft and subtle wash of color. Moving to the lower lid, apply the same shade from the outer end towards the inner corner, blending it out seamlessly. This will add depth to your eyes and create a cohesive look. Take a smaller brush and pick a darker shade. Begin by gently dabbing the darker shade right at the outer end of your eyes. Then, using a left to right motion, blend it out at the outer corner to create depth and definition. With the remaining powder on your brush, bring the shadow towards your inner corner and blend out the entire region. Now, let's move on to darkening the shadow at your lower lid. Using your pinky finger, gently pull the lids down to expose the lower lash line. Apply the same darker shade to the outer corner of the lower lid, and blend it out in a triangular shade. This technique helps to elongate your eyes. Switch to a finer detail brush and pick a warmer and deeper shade. Starting from the inner corner, apply this shade along the upper lash line, working your way towards the middle. Repeat the same on the outer corner, bringing the shade towards the middle. Blend the shade seamlessly to create a harmonious gradient effect. Repeat the same step for the lower lash line. Using your detail brush, apply the shade from the inner corner and outer corner, working your way towards the middle. Just like before, blend out the shade at the outer corner in a triangular shape to create a seamless transition. Take a little bit of the same shade and return to your upper lid. Use a blending brush to clean up any excess or uneven eyeshadow by blending it from the lash line upwards. Next, apply a wing liner at the outer corner of your eye. Begin from the outer rim of your iris and extend a slightly slanted line towards the outer edge of your eye. Then, connect the line to the inner corner to form a subtle full wing liner that complements monolid eyes. Using a small detail brush, Take the darkest brown shade and blend it out along the wing liner you just created. This will soften the line and create a soft wing effect at the outer corner. Don't forget to also blend out the shade at the inner corner to maintain a balanced look. But we're not finished just yet. Grab your gel liner once again and fill in a very soft and subtle line along the lash line, starting from the inner corner and extending to the outer rim of your iris. This will add definition and depth to your eyes. Next, trace a faint line from the outer rim of your iris to the outer corner of your eye, following the triangle-shaped shadow that you blended earlier. Using the same deep shade, go back and deepen this line slightly for more impact. To achieve a rounder eye shape, focus on enhancing your egg yolk sol. Fill in the subtle contour below your eye fat at the middle of your eyes. Don't forget to highlight the egg yolk sol with a matte highlighter to add dimension. Curl your lashes as you normally would and add your favorite falsies for that extra touch of drama. And your monolid eye makeup look is complete and stunning. If you have been keeping up with the latest Chinese beauty trends, you may have come across some innovative eyeshadow techniques created by Chinese beauty gurus. These include the parallelogram and inverted triangle eyeshadow techniques, as well as the popular siren or doe eyes method. These eyeshadow techniques are designed to modify and enhance your eye shape according to your desired style. They can be a bit more advanced and require some skill to execute, but once you have mastered the basic eyeshadow application method that suits your eyes, you will be well prepared to adapt and incorporate these techniques to achieve the desired look and transform your eye shape. It's all about experimenting and finding what works best for you. Let's begin with the parallelogram eyeshadow technique. 
The parallelogram eyeshadow technique falls under the horizontal application method, which aims to make your eyes appear longer. It also improves the relationship between the eyebrows, eyes, and nose. Moreover, this technique creates the upward lift effect to our eyes that can effectively enhance your face shape. It is particularly suitable for individuals with square, round, or short faces. To create the parallelogram eyeshadow shape, start by using the handle of a brush to find the placement of the eyeshadow. Place the handle directly on the line that aligns with the inner rim of your iris, and then measure the distance between your brow and the middle of your iris. Find the middle point between these two measurements. Next, connect a slanted straight line from this middle point to the inner corner of your eye using a darker neutral shade. Repeat the same step at the outer corner of your eye, extending a line from the middle point to connect with the outer corner. To complete the parallelogram shape, find the lowest point of your egg yolk sol and extend a line from it to connect with the line at the inner corner, forming a parallelogram-like shape. For eyeshadow, apply a light nude shade as the base color for the lid. Blend it all over the upper lid within the lines you filled earlier. Use a smaller brush to apply the same shade all over the egg yolk sol area. Next, fill in the end of your eyes with the same shade, following the slanted line. Deepen the shadow at the front part of your upper lid as well. By doing this, you are able to create that parallelogram shape eye shadow region on your eyes. This not only improves the overall shape of your eyes, but also accentuates their natural structure. When you extend the eyeshadow area, it has a magical effect of making your face appear narrower. To enhance the shadows of your egg yolk sol, use a liner pen to draw a straight line along the groove of the eye fat. Highlight the center of the egg yolk sol with matte highlighter. For the eyeliner, tight line along the upper lash line and extend the liner towards the inner corner. Continue to fill in the liner at the lower lash line from the middle of your iris and extend it out towards the outer lash line. Remember, when applying liner to your lower lash line, draw it on the outer side of the waterline. Leave the pinkish area of your waterline untouched. To create a lifted effect, use the matte highlighter to trace along the pinkish area, highlighting it. Fill in the blank area to accentuate the lift. You can also use a tiny bit of concealer in a lighter shade for this step too. Next, use a liquid liner to create a winged eyeliner at the outer corner. When applying the liner, start from the outer end of your eyes to prevent your eyeliner from getting folded into your lid. To complete this eye look, add mascara to your lashes, along with falsies and even fake lower lashes, will enhance the overall effect of the look. And for that extra touch of glam, don't be afraid to apply a shimmery eyeshadow to the inner corner of your eyes. It adds that perfect finishing touch to make your eyes shine. Have you heard of the inverted triangle eye makeup? It's a trendy technique where you draw a line connecting the brow head, brow tail, and under eye fat, creating an inverted triangle shape. It's a vertical application method that works wonders in enlarging the eyes and visually shortening the face. If you have a long face shape, this technique is perfect for you. Next, let's locate the point of the inverted triangle by following the midpoint of your iris and extending it all the way down to the lowest point of your egg yolk sol. That's the spot for your inverted triangle. Now, join this dot to the front and end of your brows, creating a line between them using a nude brown shade. This will serve as the base color for your lid. Apply it all over your upper lid within the lines you've just filled. Remember to blend the shadow up to your brow bone. Next, apply a darker shade at the sides of the triangle to add more dimension to your eyes and reduce the distance between your eyes. Using the same shade, fill in the lower lid area by following the shape that you've drawn earlier. Ensure that the color is evenly distributed and blended well. To create more depth, apply the same shade within the crease and blend it out. This will add definition and dimension to the area. To enhance the contour of your under eye fat, focus on adding shadows at the center of your under eye area. To further enhance the shape of your egg yolk sol, apply matte highlighter to the center of the egg yolk sol area. The egg yolk sol style is more of a flatten out U shape, which helps to reduce the length of your mid face and create a balanced look. For the eyeliner, use a brown gel liner to fill in the inner lash line and extend a straight line at the outer corner. To add more depth and create a rounded, wider appearance, Thicken the liner right above your iris. This will help adjust the shape of your eyes and give them a more rounded look. To create a softer and more natural look, fill in the lower lash line starting from the middle of your iris and extend the line with a light hand. 
Then, gently smudge it along the lower liner to blend and soften the edges. For lashes, focus on applying mascara or false lashes to the middle region of your upper or lower lashes. By emphasizing the middle section, you can create the illusion of longer lashes, making your eyes appear wider. This technique helps to draw attention to the center of your eyes and enhance their overall width. The elongated or siren eye makeup technique is all about extending the eyes horizontally, creating eyes that appear longer and exuding that high fashion, cool girl vibe. It's perfect for those moments when you want to turn heads and make a bold statement with your makeup. The technique for creating an elongated eye shape works towards the same objective as the eyeshadow application method for downturn eyes. Hence, for those who are interested in this technique, you can refer to the timestamp to watch it. Lastly, the round or doe eyeshadow technique. This technique emphasizes on the vertical application technique to enhance and enlarge the eyes. This technique is perfect for those with narrow or elongated eye shapes, or for those who want to achieve a youthful and adorable look. To create a beautiful round eye look, start by applying a lighter shade of eyeshadow all over your upper lid, from the inner corner to the outer corner. Focus on creating a semi-circle shape with the highest point of the eyeshadow located at the middle of your iris. Switch to a smaller brush and apply the same shade to your lower lid. Blend it carefully all over the under eye fat, ensuring that the shadow follows the natural curve of your eye. This will help to enhance the roundness of your eyes. Choose a slightly darker shade and apply it within your crease. This will help to create a contrast and enhance the appearance of your eyes. Apply a slightly thicker liner at the middle of your upper lash line, gradually tapering it to a thinner line towards the inner and outer corners. This technique helps to create the illusion of wider eyes. For the winged eyeliner, keep it subtle and gentle. Avoid going for an overly elongated wing. Instead, create a small, subtle tail at the outer corner of your eyes. This will add a touch of elegance and a doe-like appearance to your eye shape. Apply a faint line along your lower lash line. However, when filling in the liner near the outer corner, it's important to avoid applying it too close to the lashes. Instead, apply the liner slightly further away from the lashes. This technique creates the illusion of wider eyes by visually extending the width of your lower lash line. It's recommended to choose lashes that have longer length lashes in the middle and shorter lashes at the sides. This lash style helps to accentuate the roundness of your eyes by adding volume and length to the central part of your lashes. Makeup brushes are an essential tool for anyone who loves wearing makeup. Whether you're a makeup pro or just starting out, having the right brushes in your collection can make a world of difference in your eyeshadow application. On a side note, we are currently working on another video which breaks down the extensive selection of makeup brushes available. From the types and names, down to their specific uses and correct way of application. We have got you covered. So please stay tuned. For applying eyeshadow makeup, the first essential brush you should have is the all-over eyeshadow brush. This brush is perfect for applying eyeshadow, using a Z motion to cover a large area. When using this brush, remember to concentrate the darkest shade closest to the lash line and gradually blend it upwards for a seamless color transition. This technique will help you achieve a natural and well-blended look for your eyeshadow. The medium or C-shaped eyeshadow brush is perfect for applying the main shade near the lash line and adding dimension to the eyes. Begin blending from the outer corner towards the inner corner, creating a gradual fade from the outer to the inner corner. An eyeshadow blending brush is an essential tool that should be part of every makeup collection. When choosing a blending brush, look for one with fluffy and longer bristles, as this will allow for effective and seamless blending of eyeshadows. For beginners, it's recommended to opt for a slightly smaller brush that offers more control over the blending process. Look for a brush with a slightly rounded or tapered shape, as this will help to blend out the edges and create a soft and natural transition between different eyeshadow shades. The blending brush is perfect for diffusing harsh lines and achieving a beautifully blended eye look. A small detail brush is perfect for precisely applying and blending the darkest shade in smaller areas like the lash line. This brush allows for precise control and can help create a more defined and polished eye look. As beginners, having these four essential eyeshadow brushes is a great starting point to achieve beautiful makeup looks. 
However, if you're looking to expand your brush collection and achieve more precise application, there are other brushes you can consider. Additional brushes like a pencil brush can help with applying shimmery shades in smaller areas such as the inner corner or brow bone for added highlight. Using an eyeliner brush is a great technique for defining the lower lash line and creating precise eyeliner. These brushes offer more precision and control in specific areas of your eye makeup application. It's all about finding the brushes that suit your needs and allow you to achieve the desired effects in your eye makeup looks. Besides that, there are a few tips we might have overlooked when applying eyeshadow, and these are tips shared by Chinese professional makeup gurus. One important tip is to gently press and rub the brush bristles onto the eyeshadow lid or a tissue to evenly distribute the product after picking up the eyeshadow. This method offers several benefits. Firstly, it helps to prevent applying too much eyeshadow, ensuring a more controlled and even application. Secondly, it minimizes the chances of eyeshadow clumping or having difficulty blending the colors, resulting in a smoother and more seamless look. Additionally, it reduces fallout and prevents excess product from flaking off, keeping your makeup look clean and tidy. When it comes to blending eyeshadow, there's a technique that Chinese professional makeup gurus swear by. It involves holding the brush at a slight angle of around 45 degrees, allowing the bristles to make gentle contact with the skin. This technique ensures that the product is evenly distributed, resulting in a natural and seamless color application. Plus, it has the added benefit of preventing the bristles from splaying out, which can extend the lifespan of your brush. On the other hand, there's a common mistake that many people make when blending eyeshadow. They press the brush head directly onto the eyelid, with the bristles perpendicular to the skin. This can cause discomfort and may not yield the best results. So, the next time you are applying eyeshadow, remember to angle your brush and enjoy the benefits of effortless blending and gorgeous eye looks. Eyeshadow may seem daunting at first, but once you grasp the application techniques and understand the basics, the possibilities become limitless. From different colors and finishes to various application methods, there is so much to explore and experiment with. Whether you are looking to enhance your eye shape or find looks that match your personal style, we believe this video has provided valuable insights. If you're a beginner taking your first steps into the world of eyeshadow, we hope that the tips and techniques we share today have been helpful in your quest to master this art. The key to mastering eyeshadow application is practice. Don't be afraid to try out new looks and step out of your comfort zone. If a look doesn't turn out as expected, you can always wipe it off and start over. The beauty of makeup is that it's a creative outlet that allows you to express yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Comment below to let us know which tip that you love the most. We will see you in the next video. Goodbye peaches.